Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Ngayon po ang pag-uusapan po natin ay eh, paano ba palakasin ang ating milk supply and probably how we could start building our own breast milk stash just like what we're seeing right now in this picture. Ito po ay eh, mga tips lamang ano. Uh, these are the things that really worked for me. And some of them may not work for you, but generally, ito kasi talaga yung mga um, tips na narinig natin um, sa mga research na nagagawa natin on how to increase our breast milk and also from uh, the medical professionals like lactation experts and our breastfeeding advocate na mga OBGYNs. Again, these are the things that really worked for me and sa mga nababasa, nakita ko, eh, really worked for other moms as well. I learned about these through experience and through research. Basically because akala ko I had low milk supply dati. And maybe I did have a low milk supply kasi feeling ko ha, hindi, hindi, satisfy yung baby ko with uh, the milk that I produce um, or baka kasi um, yung nakita ko eh growth spurt lang din naman yun pero most times parang okay naman anyways let's start eh magsisimula po tayo sa dun sa tingin ko pinaka importante at pinaka basic sa lahat which is anilache to only latch means to have our babies directly feed or directly latch from our breasts per demand. Our breast milk kasi follows the law of supply and demand. So, mas mataas yung demand, mas mataas din yung supply. So, if our baby latches multiple times a day, our body will be forced to create or to make more milk for our baby. So, ibig sabihin magkikreate din siya ng exact amount na kailangan ng baby natin or a little bit more. I can't stress enough how important it is to feed our babies on demand as this may be the single most effective way to increase our breast milk supply. The law of supply and demand is also one of the very reasons why we should not be giving our children formula. We have nothing against formula, pero here kasi we're talking about really wanting to breastfeed our baby. Feeding our baby formula kasi substitutes all those times that our baby were supposed to be taking in breast milk. So basically, bumababa yung, yung demand ng breast milk natin and our body tends to lower its supply as well. Kaya kung desidido po tayo na i-breastfeed si baby, kahit na sabihin nila na mababa yung milk supply mo, kahit sa tingin mo eh hindi na bubusog si baby, go lang ng go. Just un latch lang, huwag magsa-substitute. Just make sure that we feed our baby on demand and eventually our milk supply will increase. And number three, let's not forget to drink lots of water. Apparently, ang breast milk po ay liquid and you would want yourself to have enough liquid in your body to create that milk, right? So just make sure to drink at least 8 glasses of water every day. Kailan man ay hindi naman naging masama yung pag ng tubig, diba? It keeps us hydrated and it keeps us healthy. Speaking of healthy, we should also make sure that our bodies stay in its tip-top shape. Siyempre, yung tinitake kasi ng baby natin ay eh, yung pagkain din na in intake natin on a daily basis. So, if you want to feed your baby with healthy breast milk, make sure that you eat healthy as well. Nako po, wala po muna ang diet-diet habang nagbe-breastfeed kasi bababa po yung milk supply natin yan. So, just eat enough. Eat lots actually, but make sure that it's healthy. Alam nyo ba that by breastfeeding, you're also losing weight kasi your body is using up the stored calories, stored fats 
in making your breast milk. Kaya, wag na po muna yung mga diet-diet na yan, okay? Our baby is of course our priority at this moment. Hindi rin po masama na mag-take ng mga galactagogs or yung mga supplement na tumutulong to boost our milk supply. Marami na po tayong mabibiling ganito in the market. Meron po mga lactation cookies. They say you can also eat oats. Pero what really worked for me ay yung life oil, malunggay, or moringa capsule. So, it's an oil-based capsule which contains a lot of malunggay in it. So, um, it's healthy. And um, as a galactagog, it increases or boosts your milk supply. It's really effective for me. And I suggest you get these if you are planning to buy yourself a supplement. One of my saving grace as well is pumping. I have a Medela Pisa or Pumping Style Advanced Pump. And it really helped me in boosting my supply by uh, pumping in between feedings. Doing this makes your body think that it needs to create more milk so it increases your supply. However, they say that it's not recommended until your baby is 6 weeks old. Because your first 6 weeks kasi hindi pa stable your milk supply mo and it might lead to an oversupply which is not good as well. Pumping will also help you build your milk stash, especially if you're going back to work. Kasi all those milk na napapump po natin na hindi agad na iinom ng ating little one, eh pwede po natin ilagay sa mga breast milk, breast milk bags like these. And um, pag nilagay po natin siya sa freezer, eh pwede po siyang magtagal ng up to 3 to 6 months. So pwede, pwede po natin siyang gawin, especially for working moms. When we get back to work naman po, we try to pump in a way na nasisimulate natin or nagagaya natin yung timing ng pagdededet ni baby sa bahay. Ibig sabihin, if your baby feeds every 2 to 3 hours, ganun din yung timing na gagawin mo when you pump in the office. Just make sure that you adhere to your pumping schedule because if not, your body will think that it has less demand so it will supply you with less as well at saka mga mommy just like any other machine kailangan din po natin ng pahinga kaya rest as much as you could get a lot of sleep if you could kasi hindi din po maganda na wala tayong pahinga kasi pag ganun bumababa din po yung milk supply natin and last but not the least, and probably the most important, eh, magtiwala po tayo sa ating mga sarili na kaya po natin. No matter how hard it is, kahit po na nakita natin na maliit lang yung nalalabas nating milk, go lang po ng go. As long as we put our minds to it, magagawa po natin yun. Huwag lang pong susuko. And eventually, yung milk supply po natin, darami po yan to meet our baby's needs. Okay? And ayan lang po naman yung mga tips ko on how to increase your milk supply. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you like it, I hope you hit subscribe. Thank you po. You have a great day.